Hey guys, it's Mio of Invoked 101 and today I am redoing my Demise Ritual deck only because yesterday was the Soul Fusion sneak peek and I got some of the brand new cards that I was, you know, just so lucky to collect, pull, and trade for. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth with this because I just did a Demise uh, Ruin deck profile. So if you really want an in-depth look at all the monsters, please go check that out. I will go in-depth with some of the new stuff, so please stick around for that. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. So just like in the last deck profile, 3 Demise Supreme King of Armageddon. Amazing card. I, I can't say it enough. We completely cut the two regular demises from the deck though. So we have three Agent of Armageddon and that is it for our ritual monsters. We have three Incantation Talismandria and three Incantation Candol. You know, this whenever summoned from the deck uh, you can add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. And when this is summoned from the deck, you add a ritual spell from deck to hand. Now let's talk about the brand new incantations. I'm so excited. Hopefully I can pronounce this right. We have incantation pencil plum. Uh, sorry, pencil plume. I probably still haven't said it right. I'm just going to call him plume. Um, when this card is summoned from the deck, you can target a ritual monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. And we also have Incantation Bookstone. Let's spread these out so you can see them. Bookstone targets, when summoned from deck, targets a ritual spell in your graveyard and adds it to hand. Now guys, these are really important. And I'm only running them at two because I didn't really have much space left in my deck. Um, as you'll see later, I took out the allures and the two big demises I already mentioned to add these cards. These are important for demise solely because they start to be able to recycle stuff in your graveyard just like Vendreds did. But demise is already kind of a step above Vendreds in the fact that it is um, all cohesive and it works very smoothly together. Vendreds kind of fallen through the cracks sadly and I don't see um, it getting much better although the incantations do help but these guys are perfect for demise because unlike Vendreds that could recycle things from the deck and you could get add them back to your hand and you could special them again you could ritual from the graveyard these don't ritual from graveyard but they at least add the ritual monsters back to your hand so that you can ritual them again and these cards are exactly what we needed, so thank you, Konami. Alrighty, back into the familiar stuff. Three Manju, although this is a Sonic Bird. And yes, when I see him, I say that he's Sonic Bird and I use him as Sonic Bird. But I need a third Manju, so. We're still playing two Black Cluster Soldier because he is just really powerful in this deck. You banish one light, one dark monster from your graveyard, most likely the incantations because you can't use them once they're in there. Uh, you get him out and he's just a 3k beater, can attack twice, or he can destroy a card on field but loses the chance to attack. And he, he's just so good in this deck. At very, very minimum, I suggest running him at two. Ritual Raven. Just because it, it's nice to have Into the World in your hand and uh, Into the World send this to Graveyard and get out Supreme King of Armageddon. So, you know, level 10 just for technically level 1 and it's, it's perfect and it's funny. We are running The Last of Our Monsters are... Uh, oops, off to the side. Some hand traps, just some basic ones, just to get you going against some of the more meta stuff. You're not always going to see the one ofs, of course, you're not even going to see the two ofs. But these are just, you know, whenever you need them and they're in your hand, you can use them and it may help you get a little bit of a boost. They've helped me plenty of times. Um, 
and of course you can switch these out for any of the um, hand traps that you want. You can run three veilers, one ogre, you can, you can do whatever you want with these. These are completely optional. If you want them in your deck, or if you don't, you can take them out. These are just here to give you that extra boost. Alrighty, so we are done with monsters onto spells, and the spells are pretty much the same. Uh, Cycle of the World, because I think it's the better uh, ritual spell. Two End of the World, because, I mean, you kind of, I, I always suggest having this in your deck. The reason I don't play uh, pre-prep is because if these are in your deck, you can use Cycle's Effect in Grave to send Cycle back to your deck, shovel it back in, and add an End of the World to your hand. But if you don't have any End of the Worlds there, you can't get your Cycle back. Which is another reason why the incantations are so amazing, the brand new ones, Bookstone. Because um, Bookstone can get you back Cycle, even if you don't have it in the world. So I guess End of the World is more up to you now if you want to run it. However, having um, we do have six ritual monsters and five ritual spells, so having the ability to have five ritual spells in your deck for six ritual monsters is really good. My favorite card, Breaking of the World. Still way overpowered. Um, when you, Once per turn, whenever you ritual a uh, ritual monster from your deck, a demise ritual monster or ruin technically uh, draw a card or destroy a card on field any card although there is an effect that I didn't say last time which is uh, once per turn you can target one ritual monster you control show one ritual monster in your hand until the end of this turn the level of the shown ritual monster becomes the targeted monsters level until the end phase yeah until the end of this turn so, this is really amazing for whenever you have a level 4 on field, you have Manju in hand, and you have your uh, Supreme King in hand, and you have a Ritual uh, spell card. You, tar you use this effect, you target your Agent of Armageddon, you make the Supreme King in your hand level 4, normal Manju, you can use Manju's effect or not, and then you can... Uh, tribute Manju as the full cost for um, your now brand new level 4 Supreme King of, Ar um, of Armageddon and it's just an amazing feel spell. Any other deck would be broken. We have two terraformings just so we can search it. Two ritual cage to uh, protect from battle damage uh, and monster effects. Too cold because once again it's just something that can help boost you a little and one monster reborn because honestly this card has saved me in some games where I am bricking and I see this in my hand and I'm able to swoop up my uh, my demise or I'm able to get out my opponents one of my opponents stronger cards this has saved me in some games there is a brand new card that I do want to talk about that we did draw, and it's Chaos Dragon. Uh, this, first of all, beautiful card. Um, and second, this is one that I've been considering adding in. I haven't, though. Um, I'm a little tossy turny with this card because... I honestly think Blacklister Soldier is a little better. And of course, you can disagree with me on that one. Um, but... For this card, uh, it cannot be normal, summoned, or set. It must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. Now that's not that's not too bad. We can we can sacrifice few incantations, especially since we can't revive them from the grave anyways. Uh, when special summoned this way, you can apply the effects based on the attributes. If you only banish light monsters, special summon a monster from your graveyard in defense position. Only dark monsters shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck, and both light and dark destroy 
up to two cards on field. And you can only use the effects once per turn. So it's not a bad card by any means. Most likely you are going to be banishing a combination of light and dark and you're going to banish up to two. It says vanish or is it safe destroy? Destroy. You're going to destroy up to two uh, cards on field. However, the reason that I'm kind of eh about adding this into the deck is because for Blackluster Soldier, let me get him out really fast. For Blacklister Soldier, you only need to banish a light and a dark, and you get to choose one of his effects. He can uh, he can remove one monster from play, but cannot attack the turn if you uh, chose that effect. And this card can destroy your opponent's monster as a result of battle, and it can attack again in a row. And personally, for less of a cost, for still a 3k monster, and for an effect that you can choose from, and you can choose either or in different situations, I personally think Blackluster Soldier is probably the better way to go. This one has a higher cost, and you only get one effect depending on what you tribute from, from it. So, I don't know. I haven't tested it in this deck, and I will test it in this deck. But if you've tested it already, or if you have an opinion on it, please leave it in the comments down below and um, I will definitely be reading those so but yes that is a quick kind of sloppy uh, deck profile of my demise ritual deck after soul fusion like I said in the last video at the very beginning we do have about four different versions of this deck profile so please tell me in the comments below if you want to see it uh, the one that I did three days ago I think it was, was uh, before Soul Fusion, this is post Soul Fusion, and I think the cards in Soul Fusion really help it, the incantations most um, most definitely help. Um, you can tell me in the comments down below if you want to see one of those. As always, please support Nod on Patreon, well whenever you support him you're actually supporting Invoked 101. Uh, just that dollar a month can go to making Naturia meta again. Um, but of course there are higher tiers than that and um, it's only a few dollars a month and it can really help step this channel up. You can interact with us, you can be in a part of a monthly live uh, duel with uh, Nod and myself. So please go support us on that. If you want to see more deck profiles like this, be sure to like, um, be sure to comment what you thought about it, and always uh, subscribe. Anyways, thank you. Bye!